All right, so here it is. I'm about to geotag 50 pictures in just a couple of minutes. From start to finish. First thing to do is create a new project. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Horse Ranch, because I got a bunch of horse pictures. Now, what I need to do is add seed locations that are going to be used to randomly generate um, locations from. I could do it this way if I have a specific latitude and longitude that I know what it is and I want to put it in and put in a radius, uh, but it's even easier than that. Go to our map here. We'll say this horse ranch is in Oklahoma. And all I have to do is click the areas that I want to use as seed locations. The reason that this is wonderful is because if you need to do an L-shaped area, for instance, you can do that. So I've added my seed locations and I create the project. Now if I had photos that were tagged they would show up here. That hasn't happened yet. I need to upload my photos. To make it even easier what I've done is I set it up so that you can upload a zip archive of your photos. Now I've already taken these images and made the archive here and all I need to do is drag and drop it. Now that right there is the zip file being unpacked and then it's going to start geotagging the images. You'll see some notifications pop up over here and then you'll see the photos being served up to the browser as they're tagged. Pretty easy, huh? So let this run for a little bit. As you can see it's going at a pretty good clip. And as this is done, you can see how many of the allotted tags have been used. Now this account has 1,000 tags being allotted. So as you can imagine, you're not going to see a whole lot of change there um, for only 50 images. <clears throat> Moving right along, these should all be done shortly. Now while that's happening, if we want to take a look at it and see uh, the areas that they're tagged so far, you can see these are all actual tags for the images in this project. Randomly selected from the seed locations that we gave. So each one of these is within a thousand meters of a seed location. And we are still tagging images. Now if you've ever tagged images on your own, <laughs> you know what a pain in the neck it is. This is so much easier. And no more notifications. It looks like we're all done. Scroll back up here. Now to get them all, I can grab one or two of these images if I want to. That would be a real pain in the neck, wouldn't it? So if I want to get them all at once, create this and it's going to zip them all back up. And we can see that they're archived and ready for download. Now one thing I need to do is have this button pop up automatically. I haven't done that just yet. So if you just go back out and back in, we have the button here to download the zip file. Click download. It's downloading. This is one from earlier as a test, either one of these. Click on it, however you unzip, and there we go. 50 images geotagged. How much easier could that be?